Hey there, it's Rosalyn here and welcome to my first um, crafty haul to share with you. Um, this haul comes from Scrapping for Less. It's the first time I've purchased anything from Scrapping for Less. Um, I was introduced to them by some YouTubers that I watch and they subscribe to their her flavor of the month kits and I was watching Lucy from my crazy craft life um, create a project and I was intrigued by some of the Scrapping for Less exclusive products that she was using. So I ended up going to Scrapping for Less uh, website and going shopping. So I want to share with you what I purchased. So let's get into it. Just... So first, the main reason that I went to the website was for their exclusive products and the first one is a four by six stamp set and this one is called summer floaties and it's just so adorable with this cute little chubby girl um, with her floaties and enjoying the summer um, a summer day so that's great and it looks like these are photopolymer stamps and they are made in the USA so I like that a lot too and to go along with that I got some paper packs and I haven't yet opened these so let's go ahead and open those up and we'll take a look at what they're like. I'm just going to cut the top off here. So this one is called Summer Floaties and you get 24 double sided sheets and four of the each design. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have some really cute popsicles here and I absolutely love the under the water pool papers that they're showing here. And this is really nice pattern paper. This is not like anything else I have in my craft room. So we have four of those We've got some ice cream cones. And on the back we have that type of water reflection paper. And then we have some watermelon paper. And also you can see here, it would create a nice pool scene with that paper. And some pizza paper, which is really cute and some more water and I like how you get a lot of pages of each so that you're not afraid to cut into your paper so I really like that. Here are some donuts which I think would go super cute with this little donut floaty girl and that's really really cute. I love the colors on that. I love pink and brown together and here are some more water patterns. And finally we have the pineapples, which is super cute. I like the size of these patterns actually. They're, they're going to work really nice on cards. So, And here's a more subtle water background. So I'm really liking those. I'm really impressed with this paper. It's really thick and it almost has a slight gloss to it, which is nice. And for the second one that I picked, it's called Weather Together. It's also 24 double-sided sheets and four designs of each. So we'll open that one up. I was really drawn to this paper because of all the rainbow colors. Um, I just love, love having rainbows on my cards, rainbow colors. So we've got some white paper with polka dots. And on the back we have a rainbow chevron. And the rainbow on here goes from pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Doesn't really have a red, but that's okay. I really like these sort of pastel colors. And we've got some really cute um, yellow background paper with some rainbows and clouds and suns. And on the back 
Oh, that's really cute. I love that one. It's very similar, but a little bit of a smaller pattern. Oh, and we have this one. It's kind of like a sunburst rainbow pattern. Really nice. And on the back we have some polka dots and some more rainbows with a white background and some solid pink paper that coordinates with the patterns and the lovely um, rainbows here and actually you could turn it upside down and use it for like a like a peacock type pattern or a mermaid scale so that's that's a lot of fun and then some blue that matches perfectly with the paper and a light blue background with some more um, rainbows, clouds and suns and a nice stripe to coordinate. So I'm really impressed and I think that's really good value. Um, really high quality paper so I'm going to enjoy making some cards with this paper. So those are the exclusive products that I picked up, um, but as I was shopping, I found a few more things that I really liked, so I added those to the cart. And here they are. So to start off, I've got the Distress Oxide in the Speckled Egg, and I wasn't so sure about this color, but I'm looking forward to playing with that. I have pretty much every Distress Oxide color out there and it's sort of a complete set syndrome thing I have going on there so that's that. I got this Avery L stamp set and it's called Sea Babies and it comes with a little mermaid and her friends. And I also have another um, stamp set by Avery L in my stash that I haven't yet used and it has otters with um, like scuba gear on so I think I'm going to combine those sets together. And then I found this super duper cutie and this one's called Surfing Santa and it's by Sunny Studio and what intrigues me about the Scrapping for Less um, card kits is that they come with some exclusive stamps that are smaller from different companies like Sunny Studios, which, you know, I went through some videos to check them out, and there's some really cute things that you wouldn't be able to get usually, and uh, I really thought that was such a cute set with little Santa, little tropical Santa there. So I picked that one up. I'm not sure if it was in a card kit last year, but I'm glad I was able to pick that one up. And then also from Sunny Studio, this one's called Tropical Scenes because um, I'm really into the underwater um, <clears throat> theme this year. And I actually didn't think I was going to like doing underwater scenes, but now I'm just collecting mermaid stamps. So this went perfectly with some things I already have. So that's a lot of fun. This one will like create a whole scene on the bottom of your card for underwater. So that's mainly why I got it. Plus it has some jungle vines here and an island and a little palm tree. So that will probably go really well. This little island with the Santa with a surfboard. So that will be a lot of fun to use. And then finally, whenever I find a coffee stamp that is a little different. I love, I love coffee stamps and coffee everything. So I picked up this one from Pink and Main and it's the Mermaids and Coffee and it's actually my first product from Pink and Main and they didn't have this on the Pink and Main website but I was able to find it at Scrapping for Less so I love that. So it just looks like a lot of fun to color. And we have some sentiments here. We're fantastic together. You, me, coffee. Always be mermazing. Coffee helps. Coffee makes life mermazing. We mermaid to drink coffee. So that's a lot of fun. I think that's going to be my next coffee card that I'm going to do. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed that video. And tell me which one, which item was your favorite that I got. 
in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.